Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramgan. It's Tuesday, October 6th. This is Deaconess Elizabeth. And we're here for your morning devotions today. We are going to be doing the morning devotion, which is found in your hymnal on page 295, if you'd like to turn there now and join us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise. And with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will declare your praise. Glory, glory be, be to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. All right, and Deaconess Elizabeth is going to introduce the hymn for us this morning now. All right, our hymn is hymn 609, Jesus Sinners Doth Receive, and we'll do verses 1 and 4. Jesus sinners doth receive, O oh, may all this saying ponder, who in sin's delusions live, and from God and heaven wander. Here is hope for all who grieve, Jesus sinners doth receive. I, a sinner, come to thee with a penitent confession. Savior, mercy show to me, grant for all my sins remission. Let these words my soul relieve, Jesus, sinners, doth receive. All right, and our scripture reading today is from the Gospel of Matthew, the ninth chapter, beginning at the first verse. And getting into a boat, he crossed over, came to his own city. And behold, some people brought to him a paralytic, lying on a bed. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, my son, your sins are forgiven. And behold, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil? Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, rise, pick up your bed, and go home. And he rose and went home. When the crowd saw it, they were afraid, and they glorified God, who had given such authority to men. So, uh, another great story about Jesus' mastery over creation uh, that, that Jesus is showing here that he can undo the effects of sin. Uh, when we think about disease and sickness and, and things along those lines, uh, they are a reflection of the sin that has invaded creation. And creation is damaged by, uh, by this sin. So uh, original sin affects us biologically, right? Because remember that original sin brings about death. There is no death in creation before the fall into sin. Uh, which is one of the reasons why the theory of evolution doesn't work, because evolution needs these endless cycles of death in order to even get to an Adam and Eve. But, uh, you know, creationism, the Bible says that God creates Adam and Eve without death, that they are born or they are, are made by him in his image, and then uh, it's not until sin enters the picture that you have death. And with death, you also have all of death's allies, and that includes uh, sickness and disease and uh, any kind of physical ailment. Uh, all of these things are a result of sin. So when Jesus comes and he shows his mastery over creation by yesterday calming the seas and then by today uh, allowing the paralytic or making the paralytic to be able to walk again, he's showing that, that he can undo the effects of sin upon creation. Uh, and that shows that, that he is God because only God can do that. All right, let's continue now back on page 295, and we're going to pray together the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, 
that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I thank, thank you, my you Heavenly Father, Father through, through Jesus Christ, Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept, kept me this night from all harm and danger. And, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. Well, Elizabeth, what announcements do you have for us today? All right. Well, tomorrow is Wednesday, so that means, once again, we will be having youth night um, in the other building at 6 o'clock. So looking forward to seeing all of you uh, youth tomorrow. And then looking ahead to Saturday, we will be having sprouts at 1 p.m. So for the younger kids, if uh, you'd like for them to get out of the house and um, hear a short Bible story and do an activity and uh, have a snack, we'll be here at 1. Okay, and uh, adult instruction class does begin tonight. Uh, we're looking to go about 10 sessions or so. It's going to be a two-hour class starting at 7 p.m. Uh, I am creating a Zoom link for this because we do have some interest in people watching it from home. So if you would like to participate that way, if you're uh, a distance away from the church and not sure you want to get out tonight, um, you can do it that way. Uh, I may not have a book for you unless you want to come to the church and pick it up today. Uh, otherwise, you can get it this Sunday. But let me know if you'd like me to send you that Zoom link. Send me an email to pb316 at sbcglobal.net, and we'd be happy to have you join us uh, that way. Uh, also, men's breakfast coming up this Saturday at its usual time at 8 a.m., followed by uh, our elders meeting at, at 9.30. So, I um, have a lot going on here this week at Holy Shepherd. Hope you can join us for one of our many activities. Uh, the Lord bless this the rest of your Tuesday. We look forward to seeing you back again tomorrow.